Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube video. A brand new transitional, transitional, going into autumn kind of video, which I'm really excited about because I think I've got some great pieces to share. And I always find that autumn is probably the biggest reset of the year, the biggest time to reflect on your wardrobe and also just your general life. For me, it's a time to kind of get organized, it's a very back to school kind of feeling and mode. Um, so I think it kind of should reflect your wardrobe. And I love the idea of kind of resetting, taking it back to basics, really kind of focusing on your needs and those core pieces that hold everything together. So this video is hopefully the start of that for my content going into autumn and really the main springboard you need for the rest of the season. So it's actually going to be 10 pieces that I think everyone should own and I'll be showing you some new in pieces, pieces that I have felt like I've needed over the years and then also some older pieces that I've kind of built um, and established my collection around. So um, it's a real combination of the two and hopefully like I say, building blocks for going forward into the new season. So the first few pieces in today's video are in collaboration with Farfetch. And if you are not familiar with Farfetch, they are basically a stockist of thousands of brands, higher end brands, from all around the globe. And they also, what I love, adds the duty and shipping on. So you're not hit with any hidden surprises when you are shopping there, which I think is a real bonus because I think it's such a struggle sometimes to shop online and not know where you stand with shipping and import fees. But that aside, like I say, they've got lots and lots of brands, all different kinds of price points really, from high, high-end designer um, to lower-end designer. They've got pre-loved pieces on there as well. So it's a really great place to shop, a kind of all-rounder to shop if you're looking for some investment pieces. And I think that's really what today's focus is going to be on. I think this time of year is such a good time of year to invest in your clothes, especially at the beginning of a new season. If you're going to invest in something, I would choose now to do it because you're going to get the longevity of that season and really get your wear out of those pieces. So let's begin with my first Farfetch purchase. So this is from the Frankie Shop, this great blazer that I'm wearing today. Frankie Shop is a great brand. I would say they're very kind of modern minimalism. Um, and yeah, like I said, they've got some great pieces and something that I think is really crucial to have in your autumn wardrobe, transitional wardrobe is a great blazer. Now for some of you that might be a black blazer, but for me it's a gray blazer because it's something I don't already own in my wardrobe and it's one of those things that I think is a key piece for creating a lot of different outfits and it's definitely a gap in my wardrobe. So I would say go away and take a look at those gaps in your wardrobe and see what needs filling with those classic pieces. So I didn't have a nice quality gray blazer that I didn't have any gray blazer actually. So I thought now's the time to get one for my wardrobe and um, I think it will go with so much. Even just basics like these black trousers, some jeans it will go with. I think it would look really nice in the evening dressed up with some heels and maybe some, I could really see it with some big diamante earrings going into party season and I love the contrast between something a little bit more glamorous like some earrings with something cool and casual like this oversized blazer. Um, I think if you did want to you could go down a size. I went for my true to size, but um, you probably could go down a size because it, it, Frankie Shop is notoriously that oversized fit. So if that's not your thing, you could definitely do this blazer, but a size down. Um, but I just think it's such a lovely piece. I love the small details like the gray buttons, which makes it really versatile to wear it with both silver and gold jewelry. Um, you don't have to think about contrasting jewelry. So yeah, just little details, I think, something you should look out for and a piece like this will stand you in really good stead for now going right through into spring as well and then for seasons to come. Before I show you the other pieces, I have a discount code to share for Farfetch. It is Lydia, capital letters, Lydia 10. I'll, I'll write it on the screen so you can see it there. 10% um, off for the next 30 days. So you've got plenty of time to have a browse, make your decisions, and I think that's really important when investing in something. Um, really think about it and consider it and make sure it's worthwhile to have in your wardrobe. And that extra discount always helps too. So let's move on to my next piece. So 
These are my first ever Manolo Blahniks and I just think they're the prettiest shoe. So elegant, modern, I just feel like they tick all the right boxes of being that staple classic heel in your wardrobe and I've had my eye on these for I'd say a year, since like last autumn. So I think that's how you know it's a good time to make that purchase. Um, I think I might swap these for a size up. I'm not sure yet. So I'm in between sizes. So shoes are always a bit of a struggle for me. So I went for a 39, but I might try and swap them for a 40 um, just to give me a bit more room, but they're just the most elegant shoe in the world, <laughs> especially for autumn. And what I love about these is that you can really wear them for every occasion. I could just picture these in a really smart office environment, just with some black, in fact, this exact outfit would look really chic with um, these shoes. But also I love, as I was talking about before, that kind of contrast dressing with um, some raw hem denim, some leather trousers and a knit for evening. Um, just super, super chic. And I think this style is something that will never ever get old um it's just so elegant i think it's just the most elegant shoe and i think it's always useful to have a pair of mules like this strappy sandals aren't always appropriate in the autumn so to have a really elegant pair of mules like this you can dress up and down and i think even this outfit maybe with some jeans and some statement earrings would look really cool too those classic pieces are really on my agenda um, at the start of the season particularly because i want to get those core basics and staples all together so that I've got my foundations. If you are thinking of where you can invest, I think footwear, bags, good blazers are a really good place to start because they're solid pieces that you'll wear time and time again. So um, I got these boots, which I'm just absolutely in love with. So these are from Totem. Um, they're suede and I just think these are the ultimate evening boot for me. I remember and know from years previously um, what I need out of an evening boot and it's not a skyscraper heel because there are so many occasions around autumn and winter where you don't want to be really really dressed up but you also don't want to be wearing a flat boot. There's lots of times, I don't know about you, but I have lots of times where I feel like I'm going out for casual meals or round to friends houses over the winter period um, and you just feel like a really tall heeled boot is a bit too over the top but these are just absolutely perfect I think these would even work like on a city break if you were going out in the evening and you were maybe walking around a bit you so you don't want a high heel but just something that feels a little bit more elegant and evening like but then equally these could work in the daytime if you wanted something a little bit smarter in the daytime for workwear again. I just think these are, I just think they're such a good pair of boots. Um, they also come in the proper leather. I'd say they are a bit more of a daytime feel, whereas the suede is an evening. And I do often gravitate towards suede boots in the evening time, but these will go with everything because the leg isn't too wide that you can't wear it um, with jeans and things like that. So they definitely go with jeans over the top of them. They'll go with straight leg trousers. They'll go with long skirts. Um, I even think they'd go with shorter skirts as well, but I tend to wear longer skirts with ankle length boots but um, they really will be a versatile piece. Again, with this outfit that I've got, just demonstrating again how all of these pieces can interchange really nicely with each other. Honestly think these are a really, really worthy purchase. I just think everything about them, they're so elegant, the heel's not too high, the ankle's the perfect length. Um, they're the ultimate suede boot for me, suede ankle boot, and I just can feel me getting a lot of wear out of them. Again, I did go for a size up, um, the great with a pair of socks, uh, because I think the size down with this slim pointed toe would have felt too small for me. Like I say, I'm a half size, so just take that into consideration. Absolutely obsessed. Did I mention that these are from Totem? I don't think I even mentioned that, but um, these are from Totem anyway. Like I say, far fetched do lots and lots of different brands. I think if you are someone who likes to invest every now and again, doing it all on one site like that really reaps its rewards in the long term. 
So don't forget Lydia 10 to get your discount on Farfetch. Like I say, they've got some really, really great pieces on there and everything I've shown you will be in the description box with my sizing too. So let's move on to our next staple piece. So the fourth thing I think you should be investing in and purchasing and making sure you have in your autumn wardrobe is a really great pair of denim. And these are from a brand called Duracoco. I've spoken about them a lot. I obviously, I'm not saying the name as well as they do, but um, yeah, they're just, honestly, like I could just wear all of their brand and everything is perfection. So I love the fit of these jeans. I think I went for, oh, these are a waist 28, which are quite nice because they're a little bit slouchier. Um, I don't like jeans too tight fitting. I think um, they just feel, I don't know, I just think they look so much nicer when they're a little bit looser and more flattering too. But a great pair of straight leg denim, not too long, not too short. So you could wear something like the totem boots with it. These would look really great with the Manolo mules and just so many other kinds of pairs of shoes in the winter, other low heel boots, other ankle boots, even like a kind of loose leg riding boot would look great with these. Um, loafers would look great in the autumn season. So I think having a really good pair of mid wash denim um, will stand you in good stead because I think they feel a little bit smarter than light wash and a little bit more autumnal too. So my next piece you may have seen me wearing on many occasions or talking about, um, and if you've not, I don't know how you've missed it because I've worn this jumper so much already. It's from Philippa K, it's cashmere, and it's just probably the best jumper I own. I absolutely adore this piece. Obviously, with it being cashmere, it is more of an investment piece, but if you are going to do that, do it now, like I say, um, because then you've got it for the whole season. You'll be able to get so much wear out of it. But again, this would look great on this blazer. You could throw it around your shoulders on warmer days just as an extra protection. I just love everything about this. I got this in a medium, so I would recommend going size up for a slightly slouchier fit. Um, and it's this kind of almost torpy gray shade. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. The shape, the fit, the neckline, the body of it, the sleeves with this kind of drop sleeve here, everything about it is just jumper perfection and jumper heaven. Um, and I think having this kind of crew neck cashmere jumper in your wardrobe, maybe it's not this color, maybe this isn't a color for you, but something in a color that suits you um, will just look great with everything. Like I say, leather trousers, jeans, skirts. Um, it would look great with the shoes that I've just shown you, blazers, trench coats. Um, it's just a real core staple that I think everyone should own. This wasn't intentional, but I actually ended up featuring a few of the Philippa K pieces because I just think their branding and everything they do, the quality, the shapes, the fits, um, are really worth paying a little bit extra for. And I think they're a really great brand. They're not um, really, really expensive designer, but they are a little bit more elevated than High Street. Um, but I do think it shows in their actual products. I think to have a few timeless classics like this that you can wear on repeat, and then you can mix and match that in with some trend pieces if you wanted to. So um, my next piece is an oversized white shirt. This obviously is not necessarily an autumn piece, but I think, well, it's an all, all year round piece, but if you haven't got one already yet, now is a good time to purchase. Um, you can layer this up as it gets cooler, but it's also nice for those transitional days when you don't want to be wearing um, really summery fabrics. You've kind of got that autumn feel in the air, but you also want um, to be relatively cool and a shirt is just exactly the way to do that. And again, I love a shirt in the evening dressed up with those Manolo mules, just would look so good. Those classics together, I think you can never ever go wrong. I love that you could wear the oversized shirt as a layering piece as well with the tank top underneath. You can tuck it in. I usually do like a half tuck if something's oversized, but I think that slouchy oversized fit just lends itself more to being classic. It goes back to the idea of that kind of classic men's shirt that everyone should have in their wardrobe. But um, this is just such a good shape and fit. Oh some fluff on it. Um, but this is a size small, but it's an oversized style already. Um, and like I say, Philippa K just does everything to perfection. So obviously this would not be an autumn wardrobe basics, essentials, staples kind of video without mentioning a 
classic trench coat. I have quite the collection of trench coats. <laughs> So I didn't know what, which one to choose. I love them all equally and I find that they're all so useful. And just to have one in your wardrobe, I know you'll get so much wear out of it. I just think they're such a cool piece. Like they're so easy to throw on. They're very effortless um, in themselves as a piece. And what I really love, again, everything I've shown you in this video, you can kind of cater to different occasions, dress up, dress down, play around with. And I think that's the um, essence of what it is to have those core pieces in your wardrobe. This is my Marcella London trench coat in this beige color. But again, a color that suits you, you don't have to go for beige. It's something that you feel comfortable and confident in, in your wardrobe and that goes into your wardrobe. But I think beige is a great place to start as a classic. Um, it could be a greeny beige or it could be a warm beige or it could even be a more gray stony beige. So I think find something that suits you that you'll know will blend with a lot of different pieces. I just love this with a pair of jeans and some loafers or some ballet flats. You could wear it with boots. Um, the totem boots would look great with it. You could dress this up, wear it for evening if you wanted to over an evening outfit and it would really strike that kind of smart casual balance. Wear it for workwear as well. Um, um, at the weekend more casually with some trainers. Um, I don't need to talk about the merits of a trench coat, but I, I think having one in your wardrobe, if you've not got one already, is a really useful piece. I personally prefer one that's slightly more oversized. Um, it just feels a little bit more relaxed, whereas I think a structured trench coat feels definitely more like workwear. So to have one that's a bit more relaxed kind of is a bit more of an all-rounder. So finishing off with the pieces that I'm wearing now. So let's start with the classic, obviously a white t-shirt. Again, it's one of those things that you really need to think about. Have you got a decent white t-shirt in your wardrobe? Do you have one that you know you can turn to if you're stuck on what to wear, having a nightmare, throw on a white t-shirt and a blazer and you're good to go because I think sometimes we neglect buying those basics and decent basics. So this is my Arquette lighter weight one, but I also have the heavyweight one, which I kind of save for best as well. I absolutely love the heavier one, especially in the autumn. So I'll link both of these below. Um, I would probably size up in them both um, just because I like that looser fitting. I know a lot of you don't, so you don't have to size up, but to have that white t-shirt in your wardrobe that you can go to time and time again, you can layer it under the jumper like the Philippa K jumper um, and it just makes a really nice layering piece. Again, with the blazers, with the trench coats, you'll have seen in this video that I'm kind of wearing a white t-shirt throughout the cutaways. So a really core cool piece to have. And then next, going on to an accessory, I think is a good belt. I think belts really come into their own in the autumn winter season because we're often wearing maybe more simple, maybe more muted pieces, more classics. So I like to really play around with accessories, which is why I think the shoes are such a good investment because they really can make or break your outfit. But to have a really cool belt, it doesn't have to be a high-end belt, but just something that I think is chic, polished, something slightly different, maybe look for a slightly unusual belt buckle, but something like that, it doesn't have to be oversized statement, but something that will go with a lot of things like this YSL one. I've had this since last, probably this time last year actually, I got this and I've worn it time and time again. It's really kind of taken its cost per wear down. So I think a nice belt of some description will really um, take you through the season. I know if you didn't want to get a YSL one, brands like Reese and Under the Stories have some really great belts. So hopefully you'll be able to find something that kind of suits what you want from your wardrobe. So then finally, my finishing piece is going back to Philippa K and these trousers. So these are the Carly trousers. I'd suggest sizing down. Um, I usually go for a 36, but these are a 34. They do run quite generously. I have another pair of Philippa K trousers, which I've done the same in. So I would suggest going down a size, um, especially if you're slightly in between sizes anyway. Go go for the one below. So finishing off with what I think is an all year round staple, but particularly focused for this time of year. So like I said, this video is all about um, cementing your wardrobe and giving you ideas for those pieces that if you've not already got them, now is your time to go and get them. So I think a pair of straight leg trousers in black, they're just so, so useful. 
Obviously, if you don't wear black, then they're not a staple for you. Maybe go for a straight leg pair in a different color, or maybe go for a slightly different shape if the shape isn't for you. But I do think this straight leg black pair is timeless and I think it suits most people. If you've got the right size and got the right fit, then I do think the shape suits most people. And again, going back to the beauty of these is that you can wear them in so many different ways. I personally prefer to dress down my smarter pieces like this um, because I don't go to an office. So I don't need to kind of style them in a formal way. I, I usually dress them down. So I'd go for something like a t-shirt, like a sweatshirt, some trainers, a loose trench coat, just to kind of create that contrast and that balance in the outfit. But um, again, for workwear, these are just an absolute staple. You can wear them with so much. Some chunky loafers are um, back and here to stay, I think. So um, some chunky loafers with these kind of trousers look great. But then for evening wear, with a pair of heels, with the toe tem boots, um, these would work so well. With the belt they'd work, with the shirt they'd work, with the blazer they work. So I really think um, you'll definitely get your wear out of these. So I hope this video has been useful and kind of giving you that kickstart for the new season and things to think about what you've maybe not got in your wardrobe, what you need to pull out and start wearing more of and kind of creating the idea, not necessarily a capsule, but those um, basics that you can springboard off. And once you've got those core pieces, um, all together. I think everything just feels like it falls into place and you can mix and match much more easily. So hopefully if anything this video has given you food for thought of how you can work these ideas into your own wardrobe and hopefully you've liked the pieces that I've shared. Like I say everything uh, where possible will be in the description box below along with sizing and yeah don't forget the Farfetch Lydia 10 if you are shopping on there. Thanks again for watching. Uh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.